What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a guide on how to get 5 stars in Disney Mirrorverse. So if you want to get 5 stars, it's quite simple, you just got to get very lucky. Or you can follow this guide and it will give you the best ways you can duplicate your champs and get crystals such as the feature crystals from the side event. And you can open them up and get yourselves hopefully some good luck and pull a five stars so let's get straight into the video so going over to my profile as you can see i currently have seven five stars so i got sully scrooge mcduck mulan rapunzel baymax jack sparrow and oogie boogie so the reasoning i got all these five stars it was just luck in crystals some of them i had a four star and i upgraded it from a four star to a five star which is a really cool feature that i actually like about this game you can go from a three star to a four star to a five star entirely from one duplicate if you get another four star from having a three star it takes you all the way up to getting a five star which is really good to have you also get stardust every time you do one of your guardians so you can use this if you go into the stardust shop and you can buy four stars you can buy three stars and it rotates daily so you want to pick this up definitely because if you are really close to getting a four star to a five star and there's a three star you can buy with stardust definitely pick it up and upgrade your four star into a five star so that's one of the ways i had a four star sully and i actually upgraded him from a four star all the way to a five star just from the stardust store and this is one of the ways you can get yourselves five stars in disney mirrorverse so if you go over to events, the brand new event that is out, it has one day left, a frosty unraveling, you can get arctic fragments and you save these up and you can purchase featured crystals from the Anna's treasure and these have some good drop rates to get yourselves 4s and 5 stars. I myself have pulled a 4 star from it once and on my second account I pulled a 5 star Gaston so they are really good to have really good to have you definitely need to save up all these fragments and purchase yourself some of these feature crystals because they are free to get and if you go over to objectives and you go to special you can get these fragments from here for doing different objectives save it up purchase some featured crystals and yeah it's definitely a good way also in special you can get these brilliant crystal shards now this is guarantees a four star guardian so if you have a four star guardian already and you pull another four star duplicate from one of these you can upgrade it to a five star so keep an eye out do these side vents now let me just go back and as you can see here today it resets and you get a new event quest and i think this does give more shards so this is something to keep an eye on make sure to do this and going off of what i said a minute ago from the frosty unraveling this resets daily so you can pick up loads of these fragments daily and it adds up very quickly each day i think you can get 2000 in total from all the difficulties per day now this is a 30 day event so you do the math on that it's a lot of shards you can get and you can buy yourselves at least 10 of these feature crystals so definitely keep an eye out for that so the other way to get five stars is by getting orbs now this way i wouldn't recommend i would guarantee that it would be better just to save up your orbs and use them on doing content such as saving it for energy and also in the store there's some bundles you can get that are worth picking up i wouldn't personally use orbs to buy crystals but occasionally it is okay just to buy one or two if you're feeling lucky and i have pulled some five stars from some of these crystals in the store some of the stellar ones they're cheap if they're good if they're not good and you get two stars they are bad if you want to gamble it's your account you do it you can pull five stars from this but it's quite rare to get you can also get five stars from the timekeeper crystal so each day every 12 hours you can get a five star it's quite rare the best i pulled out of it is a four star but of course that's more dupes towards a five star so you should definitely go for the top one if you want to get a five star also the cannon dart is a good way to get loads of different guardians there's crystal shards there's artifacts there's three to four stars and obviously the more you get the more dupes you get and there's obviously orbs in here and there's just different rewards you collect every time you log into the game so yeah that's about it for today's video just basically like i say every single video do the content do the objectives grind out your orbs and just hope for some luck because trust me right now it is very hard to get guardians in this game and to get four and five stars it is very hard so you just gotta hope to get some luck and hopefully you do pull some good stuff anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out